person who has been asked to select the uh, next health insurance policy for your family, uh, you're probably experience, experiencing some anxiety or even confusion. There's a lot of information out there. All of the policies appear to be quite different at times. Uh, it's very much an, an apples to oranges comparison. I want to give you a, 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 the method that I use to help my clients find the best policy. And you can use this method whether you're uh, buying from us, I hope you do, but uh, whether you're doing that, buying through another agent or selecting uh, health insurance policies from amongst those that are, that are available to you on your job. Now, uh, what you do is you come up with three different scenarios. One, a preventive care scenario. Uh, two, a moderate care scenario. Three, a catastrophic care scenario. So, for example, in your preventive care scenario, everybody gets one exam per year. Uh, the mature females in the family uh, also would have an OBGYN exam and then, uh, let's say, two uh, dental exams. And you figure out what those uh, would cost you without insurance, add that, add that up, and you create a moderate care scenario, same thing, but you'll have more doctor's visits, uh, perhaps some prescriptions, perhaps uh, a visit to the ER. And then you come up with a million dollar catastrophic scenario where um, you know you, you you're in the hospital and and just everything goes wrong and it costs you a million dollars. Okay, so what you do is you you take the annual cost of each policy and you add it to the cost for each scenario. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find out you know what's covered by each policy and how. And so for example, if uh, your annual exam is free with a particular policy, just to delete, you know, deduct that cost uh, from your total. Uh, if it's subject to a copay, well, you deduct the cost and add in the cost of the copay. Um, and you do the same thing with your deductibles, with coinsurance, and so on. Once you've done this and you've ranked uh, the, the policies, you're going to find uh, clear winners and clear losers. And you're, you're probably not going to find a, a policy that is number one across, across the board. But what you're going to find is uh, that uh, you know, one or two policies performs pretty well in all three scenarios. It might be number two here, number three here, number two there, or number four there. And this is going to make it much, much easier for you to feel comfortable that you've selected the right policy. Now, uh, as I said, I hope that you decide to do business with us, but, but of course these tips will, will work for you no matter you know, uh, where you choose to purchase a, a policy. Uh, if you're not already on my website, there should be a link uh, probably below this video that points to my website. Uh, if you want to uh, type it in directly, it's lovetherates.com, L-O-V-E-T-H-E-R-A. T -E -S. Uh, if you're in Connecticut, uh, our Connecticut website does all this math for you automatically for uh, about 30 different policies. Uh, it's 1-800-insurancect.com. Uh, and uh, the 1-800-insurance is, of course, the phone number. My name is Alston Balkum. I've been an insurance agent since 1985. Uh, so I'm just a few months shy of my 25th uh, anniversary as an insurance agent. I've worked with thousands of people over the years and uh, would love to help you to find the best policy. Thank you. Thank you for watching.